Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. This time we are talking about the Taurus Model 415 41 Magnum. That's a lot of gun and a not really very big package. Um, around the turn of the 21st century, Taurus decided to expand their line of tracker revolvers by adding some five shot big bores and this is one of them. Um, this gun is basically a slightly beefed up K-frame. So 41 Magnum is a lot. Um, from this gun, I'm propelling a 200 grain bullet fast enough to make 700 foot pounds of energy out of the gun's two and a half inch barrel. And yes, I have an unnatural affection for big poor snubbies. But I actually have a cheesy rationalization for this one. Um, and that is, it is my pooping in the woods, oh my god, is that a bear gun? <laughs> which is, um, which is actually a thing that's not a bad idea to have around here if you're muggering around in the woods a lot or hunting. Um, now I, I thought that the whole carrying a handgun specifically for bear while hunting was a little, mm, but then I thought about it and realized in the last 40 years, I have known six people who had to shoot black bears. Three of them, it was in self-defense and three of them, it was because they were taking, for an example, an unseemly interest in the contents of an occupied tent. Um, and in each of these six cases, it was pretty inarguably necessary for the person to shoot the bear. And these shootings ranged in caliber from 9mm to 12 gauge. But the, the salient fact is that on six different occasions, people that I have personally met needed to defend their life or an innocent life unexpectedly against a black bear. And black bears are kind of an issue around here because they're not particularly afraid of humans. And while they're not unusually aggressive, unless you encounter a mother bear with cubs, uh, they're curious and notional and not, not to be trusted. <laughs> anyway, let's have a closer look at this beast on the tabletop. Okay, first off, we'll unload and show clear. This is accomplished in the same manner as the Smith & Wesson by pushing the very Smith & Wesson-esque button forward, popping the cylinder out, and verifying that the cylinder chambers are empty. And uh, yes, those five holes look very big in this cylinder. Now, the size of this this is five and a quarter inches in length, a little longer with this grip. And with this grip, five and three quarter inches tall, which is not what anyone would call a really large handgun. For comparison's sake, this is a three inch K-frame 38 Special, which is not considered a large gun by any means. And it is essentially the same size. And in 38 Special, it's very manageable. And in 357 Magnum, it's not bad. This is another story. Partly because the aforementioned Smith & Wesson weighs 29 and a half ounces as fitted. This one weighs 31 and a half ounces. So it's only two ounces heavier than a 38 special of similar proportions. And as I say, it is a handful. You will note that I have replaced the ribbed factory rubber grips with um, these tasteful and subdued oversized grips inlaid with mother of pearl. They were a Christmas gift one year and after I parted with the gun that they had been given to me to put on, I adapted them to use on the Taurus. And they do a pretty good job of mitigating recoil because they're very broad across the back, right up where I grip it. 
and that helps a lot. Now, some things of note, the barrel is ported. This may have an effect on improving recovery times between shots. If so, I can't prove it. Um, the sight is not painted orange in my favorite fashion because the ports just blow any paint I put on there off. Now, this does differ from the typical Smith & Wesson in that it has a crane lock at the front of the cylinder to help nail down the powerful rounds. These were provided with a satin finish, stainless, and as you can see, I've polished this one up a bit. Seemed to fit better with the fancy grips. It does still have the full hammer spur for single action fire. Single action pole is really very nice. The double action pole is serviceable. Let's go with that. It's not bad, but I wouldn't characterize it as good either. Sights are, as mentioned, a trough in frame rear sight and the ramped post front sight, which is integral to the barrel shroud. And this is a stainless barrel shroud over a regular barrel, which as you can see is very well crowned. Uh, the trigger is broad and relatively quite smooth. It has this weird dip at the top, which I don't know the reason for, but it doesn't seem to affect anything, so I don't really care. <clears throat> with the stock factory grips, the gun is manageable with full-powered ammunition. Um, with these grips, it's a little better, and they provide a very secure grip for my big meat hooks, but still allow the use of speed loaders. I'm not used to putting them in left-handed, but there is room to load via a speed loader to say. Um, <laughs> so, anyhow, this provides a compact, powerful package uh, that I typically carry in a shoulder holster when I am hunting or on other occasions, should they happen, where I'm just buggering around in the woods for no good reason. And, um, I typically use it as a carry gun only when I am on my way to and from hunting because as a carry gun, it to me, it does not offer enough over the 38 Special to really justify the five shots. So, there we have the basic... Taurus Model 415. Now, when I'm hunting, of course, I have a rifle. But I don't always have a rifle. There are instances where you part from your rifle briefly while you are doing woodsy things. And it's nice to have a compact, powerful, easy-to-carry handgun near to hand for those extraordinary instances where something goes sideways. And this is a great comfort in that role. Now, is it the best thing for that role? Probably not, but it works for me. Right now, the big thing in bear guns is a 10 millimeter semi-auto, and I really don't have any argument with that. It's not particularly less powerful than this gun, holds a lot of shots, and it's probably a lot easier to get them on target faster. But, using this as my pooping in the woods, oh my god, is that a bear gun, gives me an excuse to buy what is arguably a kind of stupid gun that I really like. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And um, if you're feeling really motivated, consider clicking the link below in the description for my Patreon account and kicking a buck a month my way. It's not much, but it adds up and it helps. Hope this finds you well. Stay safe and take care.